Yeah. And now it's time for a segment we like to call So They Say. So millennials grew up in a great time, right? The internet was beginning and so many tech advances have happened since that it's like, what in the world is a doorbell? <laughs> Well, not really, but experts say more millennials are simply texting, I'm here, rather than ringing the doorbell when picking someone up. Now, this stems from a Twitter post saying the generation is killing the doorbell. <sighs> so they say nowadays, it's easier to send a text than stop the car, get out, ring it, and possibly have an awkward conversation with the person's parents or their roommates or whoever else is around. Now, if you're the one inside, some say they're too scared to answer the aggressive ring and don't open the door to visitors unless they text. Got to be honest with you here, it completely makes sense. You know, a doorbell is almost like an unwanted FaceTime. You have to make an appointment. You got to let me know you're coming. We live in an age where this could be someone who is trying to solicit religious um, uh, papers or whatnot. This could be someone uh, who is trying to fix my parents' roofs. Millennial. This could be someone who's trying Millennial. to steal my Millennial. shoe collection. When, when did a doorbell become aggressive? That's yeah, aggressive. When, exactly. When's you, and not to mention millennials. Do you not have doors with peepholes in them anymore? I mean, yes. Someone bangs on your door or rings a doorbell, you look outside. If it's someone you don't want to talk to, you just tiptoe back to the couch yeah. and go play your video game. Listen, I don't like unsolicited visitors right. either. I will not answer the door unless I know you're coming. Same thing with phone calls. Like, if, if you're not in my address book, I'm not picking up the phone yeah. because it's telemarketers these days. <laughs> but, um, you know, back in the day, you know, they did. Hong they, Kong. They did. But, you know, I remember my, my mother had a rule about, you know, especially for dates. They you bad. will not go out if somebody's just coming to the door to honk at you. They need to come to the door. They need to say hello. Right. Ring the doorbell. Agree, kind of Chesley. Agree. Meet your father They're with the shotgun. Gonna the yeah. You're going to go to the door. You're going to get them and bring them to your parents. That's the way this culture is now. I mean, that's the way it goes. It's just like uh, you're, you won't answer your phone if you don't know the number. You're not going to answer the door. Right. And most of the door people coming to your door now are soliciting for like, hey, we're been in the area. We're fixing the roof of your neighbor. We wanted yeah. to know if you. So now, I mean, it's the culture has changed. And it's sad that people won't even use a doorbell anymore. That's it. But it's is the doorbell even necessary now? No. 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 Yeah. And it's sad, yeah. but you know, because you won't even, if I came over to see you, now I know you. Yeah. Yes. Because I didn't call you and tell you I was coming. It's yes. Like, hey, Chessie, what are you doing here? You'll be <laughs> calling me through the door. I'd be peeking, I'd be peeking down through the blinds, yeah. make sure, oh, who, who's that man right, right there? I don't know. <laughs> Why he looks he like Chesley, but I didn't know Chesley was coming. So. <laughs> Please. Yeah. <laughs> what are you selling? Chesley look alike. Sad, sad. Do you have the 11 Live weather app? <laughs> <laughs> I need an umbrella. I need an umbrella.